G'day everyone, Doug Flockhart here at Clubs Queensland and welcome to this week's Clubcast. Today we are bringing you a free information session with John Dixon on the New Liquor Act. Why it's there, what you need to know about it and how it will affect your club. Please enjoy. Don't see the New Liquor Act as just more regulations. See it as an opportunity for the club industry to assist the government in managing what is one of Australia's major social issues. The misuse of alcohol is reported to have cost the Australian government $17 billion, and that's billion dollars in 2008, trying to solve the problems associated with the misuse of alcohol. How much better it would be if those taxes were diverted to our schools and hospitals and roads. As a community-based organisation, we should be enthusiastically embracing the government's initiative to reduce the harm caused by the misuse of alcohol. The government gives us a licence to sell alcohol to make profit and on the other hand there is an expectation from government that we will adhere to the regulations. I believe the Queensland club industry should be setting the moral high ground in the service and supply of alcohol in order to demonstrate our community commitment. I know many clubs already do this and the Minister has clearly indicated that changes to the Liquor Act in Queensland are about harm minimisation. The new increase in regulations and penalties would suggest to me personally that the government is probably pursuing a zero tolerance approach with the sale and supply of alcohol on licensed premises. In essence, the changes to the Liquor Act are not all that significant from a regulatory point of view. The changes are initially around licence fees and increased penalties in order to encourage harm minimisation from the supply of alcohol on licensed premises. Looking for ways to cut corners in the new Liquor Act or seeing it as a government fundraising exercise is avoiding our responsibility to the community. Amending the Liquor Act has obviously been a complex process and some regulatory issues are still being resolved as we speak. However, the broad context of the regulations has been resolved and there are two areas that I wish to speak about today. One being the approved manager's position and the fees that now apply to the operation of liquor licences in Queensland. The first significant change is around the roles and responsibilities of nominees which have now been deleted as of the 1st of January and replaced by approved managers. Whereas in the case of nominees, uh, clubs were only allowed uh, one nominee for each venue. The new regulations now allow uh, clubs to have more than one approved managers to assist in their regulatory compliance. The number of approved managers that a club may have is one they determine for themselves to ensure that uh, they have sufficient uh, management to meet compliance and best practice. There are special conditions for small clubs who do not uh, pay any employees and they are only required to have a senior official complete responsible service of alcohol training. Small clubs should seriously consider the requirement not to have an approved manager as doing so may put their venue at some risk in terms of uh, regulatory compliance. Clubs are required to maintain a logbook of approved managers and who is responsible for the venue at any time when the venue is open. It is possible to have an approved manager designated as on call, not necessarily at the venue. However, he is required to be contactable and they must be available to be at the venue within one hour. An approved manager must be on site if a club trades outside the standard hours, that is before 10am or after midnight. To be an approved manager, a person is required to complete the responsible management of a licensed venue course, uh, the licensing division's RSA course, and complete a Form 4 which you can get from the department's website. You will need to submit this form to the department with a payment of $365. Responsible management of licensed venue courses and RSA courses 
are valid for a period of three years. If you attain your approved manager's certificate, well they are valued for a period of five years. The approved manager is shown in the logbook for a given time will be the principal person responsible to ensure the club's compliance with the Liquor Act. Approved managers will need to take a greater responsibility in ensuring that staff, uh, club members and patrons that comply with the regulations to avoid penalties themselves. As most of you will probably know, as of the 1st of January, all staff are required to have responsible service of alcohol training. Any new staff members that you employ uh, must complete this course within 30 days of employment. For some years now, there has been no fee associated with the operation of a liquor licence in Queensland other than application fees. From the 1st of January this year, a range of fees apply around the operation of a Liquor Act. And many of these fees are related to the risk profile of the venue.